Ten seconds so if you, but if you want to run the bat mid, then I pick. quite like Nature's Prophet in the offlane just because it's fast tempo, but Invoker oh. comes out. Iron Shells, Chorn can't do much more. Karkar's coming up from behind, but he's a snowball safe Chorn. It's exactly what he does, taking you up to the Radiant Creep Wave. Very far will be consumed with the Void, slowing up Chorn. He needs more time, but he just won't have it. Cole will claim the first one. They're looking for more as Al. Rocket Barrage damage, not enough to kill off Puppy. Even with the extra help from the Thunderstrike from the dead, trying to see how much KP gets. As, as far as timing goes, are you talking about Tusk guy getting stuck? Does that mean we then, um, goodbye puppy. Uh, does that mean we actually then look to the blink decker timing of the Batrider? But it says secret through there, ward a lot more defensively on the yeah. high ground. At bottom. Yeah, KP, there's a move in from Puppy. But wait to see him get attack on towards the mid. KP can't make it to the cliff, or can he? He's over the cliff. Can spend his money, he can die, like, actually die to Roshana's uh, Queen of Pain. Actually, dives across as soon as he takes damage, so a lot of that tip jam, uh, chip damage is negated. And on top of that, he sent himself a new fresh set of tangos. Already preparing for that. Uh, Universe, top lane, the wall's gonna hold him in with a call down and rock of a run. Universe will not be able to escape. Puppy's also out there, but say hello to X for help. Now, PZ comes in with Eternal Envy. They go on hell, but Eternal Envy locked down by Shards. This means the Puppy will be the man to finish the job. Palm charges up, but it just comes so close now. Paladai turns, gets the stun. The sticky napalm's not gonna wear off just yet with five stacks on him. KP, he doesn't have enough damage. The stick charge will keep him alive, and now KP turned on by Universe as well as Puppy. He'll make a break for the tree line. The stun oh, strike highlight time. He walks into it. It'll leave cans off oh, the south of Puppy. He chased KP into the trees. He'll TP himself away to safety. Play immediately, or you disengage her because now two cores are not getting anything out of the map. I think it's about time to come oh, out. Mid lane, Puppy, he's in trouble. Sunstrike's gonna be off target. Charges, actually not enough to keep him alive. The damage from Rue was enough. But she with the call snap, Puppy wasn't capable of retreating. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, KP chasing down Highlight Eye once again. You move in towards the mid, and then KP just goes ham over on that lion. He hasn't got the kill yet, and now the movement comes in from Artesian Envy. We're able to arrive just in the nick of time to save Highlight. Karka behind the secret line now. This is a five man move here sandwich. from Team Secret. And Karka. They're gonna find him for Universe. Yep, walked into the tree line. The TP was actually starting by Envy. They've so got to he'll hurry. stick around. They go for the snowball out. Karka, he's keeping him in the tree, still surviving. And now KP jumps into the last two. They hold up easy inside the door. The Sunstrike bonus damage finds the kill. And Eternal Envy in the middle. There's the finger event. Finally able to kill off KP. So it's a double kill for Envy as they search for more Envy down to the tree line with Universe. They want to get out, and Envy's actually going to hitch a ride into the impact of Universe, so he will survive. Puppy will not be so lucky, however. It's a lot of it, but he's going to have the Ogre Club now. It's going to make it a little bit harder for them to kill him. Batrider, of course, would have liked to survive that just so he could continue to kill. You need more than just the Blink Dagger, of course, on that hero. And in mid, Chuan, TP's in. Does not have the ultimate, though. Just wants to drop that ward. B can find an angle for Kaka to make that initiation. He does have all of his abilities up. They got the full points up in Glimpse as well. If they can keep that vision up, yeah, then you him. can just pull him all the way back in. The Sun Strike is running with the Cold Snap, whooping out TZ with a wall and punch Kaka. He's dropping down low, but they have enough damage to reach him. The ice, ice wall is there. They can't walk through it. Kaka on 4 HP is able to get back to his side of the ring. If you would give him the flying vision from Firefly. They do not see the three smoke heroes still though. They only see Puppy, but they have to know something is wrong. Now they jump in. KP doesn't go down, even though the finger of death trying to bring him down quickly. Finally, Puppy will finish the job, but our TZ in so deep. Sonic Wave will be flopped, thrown out, and he will actually blink away. So low on life, able to escape. The only casualty so far is the Batrider, but the man who killed him is left behind by the rest of Secret. There was a one for one trade off, and that T1 tower still looks like it's about to die. Zubia focusing more on the fight, Swan. A very quick ulti. Hard Eye is trapped inside this self. Snowball the self force, making it difficult for him to get a lot of damage out during the rage. He'll still kill off the disruptor. But we're having tip for tat trades on bags that newbie just want to go on. It's funny considering uh, his Pylite Dai is normally doing that heavy amount of burst damage to Batrider when he jumps into the mid lane. Out comes Eternal Envy sitting inside that mud golem. They go on how he can't get the cooldown off in time. Maybe we'll see him and still be here and Puppy very aggressively moving up the hill. But Moon will now arrive with the cold snap. Puppy having a hard time getting out. Pylite is dragged back into the Chuan Storm. Two down from the sideline. The secret with a Deathly Blast is going to be three. Universe can't get away in Eternal Envy. The Lone Warrior standing on the front line. He'll try and get himself out of here. The Sonic Wave very split up. It may be enough damage to kill off Taka with a Veil of Discord buff on him. But Artezi, yep, he will find that kill. Ends up making it again a three for three. The Scream can reach Torn up on the hillside. He's just trying to feed that control factor. And they kept the vision. 
dragging RTZ back. On the back of the glimpse, KP will be here. There is no out here for RTZ. He will drop. And this game, 23 kills and 18. Oh. So they should be aware of this. Arteezy will blink though. out and KP He's into the Firefly. Arteezy stays around to try and farm it up. They blink forward. There's your last go. And with the wall up, Arteezy stun strike. He'll blink himself away. But they still have the vision. Which means Arteezy gets dragged back by Glimpse. Traded off his. Poppy takes it. But it's, it's kind of like you're almost beating your head against the wall the way the way you're describing it. Because right now it's secret. Like, they drop an early fight, but they can't take an early fight. The more the fights go the other way, the stronger... Because they always seem to be grouped up. Like, if you can get, like, one pick off here and there, like, then it, it seems to make a little bit more sense. But every time secret seems to smoke up, Nubia are ready for it. Lion, okay. That's one thing that you get from Tusker. It doesn't just rely on Arteezy sacrificing his, his own positioning, but it's KP again who's on the hunt. He'll be forward with the four staff. He was able to reach him in time. The dragon back into the stun and the door of Colonel Emmy. He can't walk himself out this one. He's going to try and toggle his way through, but it will not happen. One minute without E. That rider going for the Aether Lens now, too, and a little bottom lane. Hello. Who's going to arrive? Stun on Puppy. He can't TP out in time. He instantly tapped that TP the second he saw the TP arriving from Moo, but it's all too late. Moo just got one of the easiest off. Teams go for straight up strategic fights. So for him to walk away with that one quite big is KP. Shock up for it. Oh, there's your jump. The sun strikes it over on Pylai Dai. Pylai Dai thought he had the advantage with the Observer Ward a little bit higher up, and now in comes KP. The Firefly is down. The Snowball protecting the Tusk Cup at the moment. And that's actually two heroes down the sidelines. The Tusker will still die. Thanks to Arteezy's movement. <laughs> Puppy, somebody's gonna break on Kaka. He knows someone's over there. KP Fighting into the Firefly. And with a blink forward, they last two. And Puppy, he just did buy up the Agony Scepter. But at least he has that, but he'll also have 45 seconds in the... Yeah, they really need... Universe also just wants to jump in. Like, they've got uh, an EE inside Universe with that Blink Dagger. Potentially a back combo, but Nubi are giving an opening. We're completely prepared to take a fight. They were trying to, but they're coming out. Nubi. He might just be a little bit too far. Uh, with that Ag, he can still see it, but Kaka moves over. Now the Bell is going to throw the battle with Hasbrick and the BKB. Puppy blocked inside the Shard. Arteezy comes in as well. The KB plans to do. Arteezy's trying to make damage. Puppy was getting on such a long time. The key problem is the rest of his team went in. They basically get a one-for-one -one trade off EE. You can't just run yourself away from this until the dragon stun there from Pylai dies. Hitting on three here and lays a snowball off. They're chasing up after on TT. Pylai controlled by Mu as well as Spawn. Puppy's coming back in to try and help out. But Mu's going to the double kill. How is so low? Can they find it with the Shadow Strike? He's already low. One more attack will do the work. The Sigil will pop. How is it trying to TP out? He won't get out though. EE will finally get it. A puppy is still on the run. Surviving. Sean will start his TP. So they, they know what's going on in this game. They're reading this so well. Got it. Uh, with an Aegis Immortal behind him and a full butterfly over on the Gyrocopter. Maybe now's the time we start to look towards the bottom lane. The catapult from the Radiant side. So they get more Siege. But this really racks these numbers and Secret's got no other choice but what are you going to do? You're going to trigger Darkness? You've already lost your bottom racks and it, it seems like they're just accepting him this. Yeah, that bottom fight is really hard for them to take. We're bringing back on at the moment. It's actually the finished AC. For the life stealer. So before this fight happens, at least they got something to work with. Arteezy jumping forward. They go straight on KP. They were able to bring him down with the hex over on how. Arteezy may just try and keep this going. He's still got Sonic Wave available. Really good pickoff though. I think this is gonna force Nubia to reset. It looks like it. They don't have their they don't have their engager. They're not gonna bother pushing this pace. Aegis is probably gonna uh, go down before the next fight too. They don't even lose their tier three tower, and that's a sick engage for Team Seek one. Looks like he's looking for that too. They go and find Pylai Dai. They need the vision, however, on Pylai Dai. The pull down will happen. They can't drag him back into the storm. Now every force to jump back out again. You can already take the fire the lion. The Dark Sea Wall is also fighting up with the Ice Wall. Kaka, he can't run himself out of here. Moves BKB. Tries to protect oh, him, but he's losing me. his support. How? He's still locked here. He's trying to That's go for more. How? Does he have enough damage to survive? Of course he can't. He's surrounded by the entire lineup of Team Secret. KP is back into the fight, however. He's got Blink last two. He'll grab up Puppy, pulling him in. This is the game of True Sight, which will be locked here for Team Secret. Not to mention their vision advantage. Decent time now to engage. All your lanes are pushing in Secret. They look at that vision too. 
But Roshan's so low, can they finish it in time for their press great space? But they go for KP instead of the Batrider. Up the middle gets the BKB up, he still dies. He's hit back in by DZ. And for now, with Gondara comes up, he takes the Aegis. The Warlord Secret Man's got the last in Earth run, Roshan. But immortality belongs to Dara. He takes the pilot eye the back of the tree line. Wakaka beats Tate down to my IR TZ, who's on a triple kill at the moment. He'll lose his teammate as well as the gem with it. Towards the middle lane, the BTs are coming forward. They don't kill that range creep up in time, which means Boo is on the front lines. The call down to KP finally gives himself the last two. They hold RTZ in position. We'll bring him down and also Universe trapped inside that snake storm. The he can't go anywhere. Locked him by the icy shards of death. Moo will grab that double kill. Three heroes on the sideline. Both EE as well as RTZ have buyback and they will both have to expend it. They cannot let Newbie take another lane of racks. They still have also a copy behind the lines. Giving them the vision on Newbie. The last little bit longer, but Newbie are getting fixed to this. They still have the Aegis in one lock out. Not to mention the fact he just triggered Satanic as well. And they still so protect him. Anybody need guys at this point to see Chris? Oh, he looks look really close forward. to it. Call Snap, you'll blink away. A nice stun. Slows down the attack, but Newbie kept got everything they want. They've already taken down the melee rack. Unless they're gonna go for a full GG push, finger of death over on now. He'll still survive in 40 seconds because the tank back is well with RTZ. Lock to the front line, the wall is up. You drop the meteor ass, Stephanie's last panel, and we just wheeling back. And this could be it right now. Secret of Lost 2 months, if there it is. Good game, one play. Newbie will take game number one. And almost a third of the tank up against Team Secret. Very well done by Newbie and all these engagements. Secret understand if they just allow them to passively get up the hill, the game is over. Newbie's just gonna sit behind their gyrocopter, allow them to continually get a lag ready. It's too hard to kill him. So Secret make the jump, but it's just so awkward because you're still jumping into an Aegis gyrocopter. They saw the invoker atop, they said maybe we can jump one hero, burst him down really quickly, but lose lose situation is they just keep hiding behind how. Man, I don't even know how Secret was meant to come back. Like we were, we were here, we were clutching a straw. It's like how does Secret get themselves back into this game? But I don't know, Newbie feel like almost